Here comes the Squirtle Squad! Who would play such a rotten trick? Yes. 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 Ah, we win. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so. It's just, um. Yeah, it's just, uh. Your standard Blastoise Magikarp Rolord. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. But, uh. Today I tried to make a thing. Actually, I've been playing this deck. This this is actually everyone was playing Zapdos and all those other new cards. This is the first thing I st I put together. <laughs> Squirtle Squad, man, come on! I don't know, just I just love playing Blastoise. I was playing Blastoise and Expanded, um, and I just loved it. I just so much fun. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's OG Pokemon, and I used to play a Rain Dance deck back in the day when I was a little kid, so. Um, I don't know, but let's get into it. So, the Rangaroo, Rangaroo is really just here, um, in case we prize the Lele. These are really the two cards that could go, because they're kind of the ones that lose you matchups, because you either start the Rangaroo or start the Lele and don't even get to use it, um, and then just sits on your bench for two prizes. Um, if I did that, then I would go to, like, another Articuno. Um... Yeah, I don't have another Articuno, but I would go to another Articuno, um, and then this could be the Kyogre, um, better the Kyogre, just because it gives you another spread attacker, because against Zapdos, um, some Zorak decks, depends on how fast they get, um, built up, um, you kind of just want to Articuno, Articuno, like, two or three turns in a row, maybe four turns in a row, um, set up a Volcano on the bench, and then while you're doing that, set up Magikarp Roller. This is this is the best case scenario, saying that you have at least one Blastoise set up. Best case scenario, you started Lily, you didn't have to bench Tapu Lele, and you got two Blastoise set up. If you get two Blastoise set up, it's just it gets overwhelming for your opponent because then you're just you're attacking without Akuna, put, putting 70 to 100 damage. Um, on whatever they promote, knocking out a lot of stuff, um, and then and then you're attaching energy to this magic up earlier, and they can't pull it up. Um, Zorak is a hard matchup because they, if you do bench this too early, and they can get up a fast Lycan Rock and you know Lycan Rock is up and just smack into it, um, then that's you know that's tough. Um, the way you you win the Zorak matchup actually is you Articuno and then um, get two Blastoise set up because they will try and like your rock like your Squirtle up or um, like that's the play it's, you know like because you have to get two two Squirtle on bench on the uh, on your first turn and then um, what's it called. Yeah, get two Blastoise up and then get an Articuno and just bench it turn two. Bench the Magic Up Roller turn two, attack with Articuno, attach, and then you have three energy on your Magic Up Roller and a Blastoise up. So you're basically guaranteed an attachment from turn and then at least one energy from your Powerful Squall. Um, and, that's, and then you just steamroll um, from there um, because you're just hitting every turn for 180 with your Magic Carp Roller, unless they can get a Lycan Rock up and you full, filled your bench up, um, they can't really deal with it. So either they'll try and go around it, or um, sometimes, I mean, they will knock it out. Sometimes I can't get it out. I'll just wait. I'll keep on just hitting with Articuno, hitting with Articuno. Um, the best win strategy I've seen with a deck is you just hit with Articuno for as many turns as you you human, humanly can, to be perfectly honest, without without benching the Magic Arp Alert. And the way you do that is you spread the energy back and forth through Articunos. Literally. And then, um, and then use this one energy recycler, get all energy back up, and then finally, once you have like two, two um, GX at 100 HP or less, 
then you set up the magic card boiler and then you just you try and save your aqua patches your energy recycler all the energy back into your thin deck and then you double power for squall and attach from the articuno and it just it's a really powerful combo it's it's a, it, it puts their opponent on like a one turn clock it's really it can be really fast right. um let's get into another game other guy just left because he kept on forgetting about his wonder slammer so let's see if we can get a better game in here better start too of course we lost the coin flip who's a coin flip every single time that not gonna be yeah I might just uh, scoop this one up sometimes this is gonna happen you know we're playing stage two we got 16 energy in our deck and yeah that's just uh, the nature of the you know card games you know it's a uh, it's uh, you know you roll the dice every single time you know you can try and make your deck as consistent as you want, but every single time you're rolling that dice. And this is Aptos deck. That's not good. Oh, God. <laughs> um, see, like, the problem is, like, a top deck doesn't even help us. Unless he literally... Okay, yeah. Okay. That, that, that's the best thing he could have done, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. All right, well, that helps. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, Kobe Ryder, I really appreciate that, because now I've got a perfect hand. So, thank you, kind sir. I really appreciate that. Because that other hand was abysmal. I'm going to give him a little heart. I love that guy. I don't know what he's going to be able to do. Well, I guess he's going to be able to draw a tree, but we're going to knock out this Jirachi. Screw this Jirachi. Jirachi's going down. Watch it. I'm calling it right now. Watch, there's going to be no Leia on the deck. <laughs> Oh, it's a Pikachu Zacrom deck. Okay, then. Oh, the top deck from Lord Jesus himself. Come here. Yeah, go. Um, I really don't. No, I'm not going to. Not going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to fall for the trick. I really don't want to bench the Lele, but I have to. That's no fun.
Alrighty, well, I'm guessing this guy's gonna learn his mistake very quickly that pulling up this thing was a very bad idea. Oh, alright, well, I'm just gonna do that. Thank you, kind sir. You're so nice. Oh, he got a supporter. But now I just. If he benches another. Okay. So I
only does it about once a week. But why does it come down to the ground to do it? And why does Let's see if he tries to Guzma. <laughs> so ...in exactly the same place. Whatever the reason, it must be very important, for a sloth on the ground is almost helpless. I don't know if he's going to try and Guzma or not. ...and it doesn't have the speed to escape. Why it comes down in this way is a mystery. thing he can do is GX knock out the Lele and knock out I guess he can knock out the blast voice right 170 and that would be if he no he can't Guzma so if he knocked out the Articuno and knocked out the blast voice I think that's his best line of play that's what I would do personally cuz in that well yeah because then that doesn't, because my win condition is, he doesn't know I have the Guzma. You, you gotta remember that. I know I have the Guzma. He doesn't know I have the Guzma. But his win condition is not letting me get, bringing up this fresh. Yeah, see. Um, so I think I just give him the Lele. It doesn't matter, really. Let's see Marsh out. If he Marsh out of me, that's the problem. So sure, just take the Layla. Because I know you're bringing this fool up. It doesn't matter. He can take three prizes all he wants. Oh. Well, yeah. Because he has... He can still goose my, my Magikarp roller, but I don't really care. Because there's no way he can get... Why would he bring up this? Okay. Why would he? Why? I'm so confused. Okay, so if he did have Guzman, he could have. He could have knocked me out. But it doesn't even matter. Don't quit. 
Don't quit, please. Please don't quit. Please don't quit. Please don't quit. Please don't quit. No, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Let me get it off. Give him well played. Ooh. Take what? Uh, that's... Two... Wait, okay, so I needed... I only needed two prizes. And I took... Why am I so confused? I took nine prizes. <laughs> I took nine prizes. I mean, granted, that was the guy's fault because he brought up his freaking... He brought up his Pikachu Jackham. I'm, I'm sure he didn't mean to do that, or... He thought he was gonna get zero aura i don't i don't know exactly why he brought up that pikachu background but that's a win that's an eight win streak with this deck that's no lie you've been enjoying this blastoise deck because it gets crazy crazy towering splash <laughs> uh watch i'm gonna talk so good about it and then we're gonna roll into this next game it's not gonna be so good we'll see we'll see how good i right, we want a coin flip Yo, that's what I'm talking about. It's an Arcuno deck. I know that for sure. I mean, a Zapdos deck. Zapdos voice out of Kuna. I just realized that. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. It's like the OGs, you know? The OGs out there. What's really cool too is I can, uh,. I can actually force him to uh, bring out um, bring out the Jirachi, which is really cool. We're gonna actually be able to Lily for seven. I'm really hoping for a uh, a. Uh, energy which is nice. I'm gonna attach here and then we're gonna go here and then this is gonna go to the volcano. So the problem is we can just as long as we you have to be really careful when you bench your magic up early. If you start it it's pretty much over. But um you, if you choose Shrine is doesn't hurt us right now, but um, that means I'm gonna have to wait to see what this top deck is. See if we can Pokemon Calm instead of um, see if he whiffs a knockout here. Is, okay, so he's not gonna whiff a knockout, but I don't think. Or 
mean, not with a knockout, but I mean, with a knockout or. Ooh. That's not too nice if you place that. But even then, we just bring up Volcanion. And that's fine, because it, e it makes it easier for us to attack with it next turn. Because I just need one attack with it. And then I wipe, I can wipe both of these Zapdos. If I get a tower, if I can get a tower and splash off. Um, so, I think I just, see the question is, Okay, if that's in that case, then I think I definitely, uh, I think I definitely just go for the Squirtle. Because like I was saying, I have, I have a little bit decent, good amount of time. My Pokemon have a good amount of HP. And I definitely just go ahead and attach there. I powerful squall first. And even if he Guzma knocks out the squirrel, that's okay. It's not the biggest deal. Well, we have two now, so it doesn't matter. Um. I'm wondering if... Nah, I don't want a Jet Geyser. He'll just bring up this other Zapdos. Because it doesn't really matter for him. Um... So this means he... Yeah, I was guessing. This is okay with us because that means he's gonna have to. We can take double knockouts on these this uh, these Zapdos here, and that means he can't Guzma. So it's so good. This Articuno is so underrated. Like, see, okay, so he's gonna nest ball. He's gonna get a new Articuno. I mean, new Zapdos. No, he's not. And I see what he has. Okay, never mind. What, that's two electro power down, right? So this just means he's just gonna give us. He hasn't spent one goose one. And I don't have. So I think I just have to. I can jet geyser to force him to give me a double knockout. I think he forgot about it. I mean, I think he brings up the Jirachi. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a really hard call. Maybe the Coco, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's a really tough call. Come on, man. You gotta make a decision, I'm sorry, you can't not do it. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, so that... I'm gonna do this. And then I have Powerful Squall. Three is fine. Oh, I, f 
forgot the Coco has... 130. Aqua Patch is huge. Um, so that means he's definitely not going to whiff the knockout. But I mean, if I if I just get a towering splash off, I think it's just game for sure. I mean, I don't really see them any way they can come back from that. I'm guessing they're looking for Guzma. I don't know what this guy, why this guy's taking so long to make decisions. Um, I don't know. This is just it's a really tough matchup for them. Unless they bench, they're gonna bench another Zapdos. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I forgot. Um, I'm actually playing the Kyogre in here instead of the Tapu Fini in real life. I don't know if I like it more. It just gives you another spread attacker besides the Volcanion. I wish you could play two Vulcan. This Volcanion is so good in here. Um, Cynthia though, bro. Sorry. Really could use another Articuno. Should have played that a little bit better. I didn't think about the Coco. Dang it. It's the second time it's it's killed me like that. Most of the time I keep it in mind. Stream those you gotta just stream those Articuno so they can't goose them out. Uh Coco, the Magic Arp Boiler. Um Basically, if he doesn't evolve, this is where a Garatino would be really, really nice. I gotta try the Garatina in here. I don't know why he would bench this Absol. I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe just 
doesn't retreat. If he does, and then I just go ahead and just tower splash now. What is he doing? Okay. Then I just win. Maybe, depending. I told you we were good. We we're good. Ah, yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so close. All right, see, I told you. I told you we get. I told you. I told you the matchup wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. You know, the Coco. I might have just forgotten about the Coco just a little bit, but you know, it's, it's pretty good because you can just Volcanian once, and then you set up a Magikarp Rare Lord. You know, a little bit less skeps than I did. And uh, you're good. It wasn't meant to be you a know? joke. Um, I hope you guys like the gameplay. I hope you like you guys like the uh, the deck. And uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment below what other kind of decks you want to see from me, Real Eye Gamer. Don't forget to comment how much you like my uh, sweater that I made myself. Um, thanks. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Peace. I'll see you in there.